so for us to save this data that comes from the Safaricom and Pesa to the database, first we need to set up the database. So this is the, the .env file uh, where we, we do the environmental variables. And here I want to set up the database because you've not set up the database. So you have to set up the database here. And that database, I'm just calling it Mpesa like that. And then username is route in my, is root. And in my password is, uh, there's no password for it. So I leave it blank like that. So let's save that. Now, after doing that, we also have to go to, to local loss. Uh, to the database and set up a new database and you have to call it whatever we called it in the .env file which is mpesa so just create a new database and we'll call it mpesa like that and then click on create So we have this new database that is already created, but we don't have the new table, but we'll do that. Of course, we are going to do that using the migration. We'll, we'll, migrate, we'll do migration and the table will be saved there. So after that, we now have to create uh, the, we have, we have to create the model where we are going to save, which is going to do this operation. Then. And we also have to get uh, together the migration so that I can show you something again. So we just go to, let's go to the terminal and create model. So it's php artisan make model. And I'm just going to call it uh, mpesa, mpesa transaction like that. And then I have to create, I'm going to get with the migration, it's migration, so that you can set up the data that uh, comes from Safaricom. Okay, so after that, uh, we just hit enter. Let's confirm. So after that, just hit enter, and we're going to create the model in migration. And there you have, has been created. So if we go to the application, inside the database, and then the migrations, we have this new migration that has been created and that is the Mpesa transactions uh, and in the models we have the Mpesa transaction here okay this is the model and this is the migration file so inside this migration you are going to set up the 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 the, the the items that Safaricom will respond or send in the response so that we can we'll be able to migrate that table and now we can set up the the function that's going to handle that response well so let me just go to the Mpesa controller here and I'm just here to show you these uh, I these uh, these are um, variable I can, these are the the ones that are sent in the response okay so we have the, the transaction type, we have the transaction ID, transaction time, we have the transaction amount, business short code, bill reference number, and then invoice number, organization account balance, and then the, the third party transaction ID, MSID, first name, middle name, and last name. So these are the details that are sent uh, in the request. So we have to save these details in the table so you have to set up the table that has these fields so let's go to the migration and set up those fields okay so i'm just going to paste there mm. and after that i'm going to uncomment and just move this And then I'm just going to do table.
So I'm just saving these others are strings except these two. So these two are decimals because it's money. So you have to set the data type decimal. So just do a table like that. And then decimal. And then it's transaction amount. You can do eight. And then you can do same for organization account balance because it is uh, money. It's also money. So it has to be decimal. It's not good to set it as a float or integer. So like that. All right, so we have set up the migration uh, successfully. So this is is going to create the table. This migration is like a, a blueprint of creating tables. So it's going to create an Pesa transaction table that has these columns. Okay. So and it is in this that we are going to save the data that comes from the that comes from a uh, from the Safari comes a uh, uh, response. So after setting up this, now we are going just we are going to do one thing. We are going to migrate these tables so that. Uh, as you can see, our database is nothing. So if we migrate these tables, we are going to populate this database those tables. So for us to migrate, we are going to do php artisan migrate like that. And if all goes well, all these tables are going to be migrated to the M-Pesa database in our uh, php my admin here. I did an error. And then I create a saying that um, Incorrect column name. Okay, there's something we did here, and that is a transaction ID. We see this space here, so that is why. Let's look for others that have that space and delete it. Okay, let's save it and again. Um, now we're just going to run PHP artisan migrate fresh so fresh is going to roll back those those migration and migrate again i dropped all the tables and then it is migrating again again you have an error middle name i don't know why you didn't see that yeah you see this space here is a space there I don't know if you have another one again I think that is the, the last one and it again And there you go. So all the migration has been uh, 
uh, has been uh, done now if we go back to the back to the female admin that is on a local loss you're going to see those the tables in this mysql database so this is our table let's we'll just click on it and you see all those tables are failed job migration and pesa transaction password posts and users okay those are the tables i created earlier but now what concerns us is these and pesa transactions if you click on it you are going to see the uh, columns that we set transaction time transaction id transaction all of those are here so now we are ready to we are ready now to save our to write the method that is going to save the the database the data from the safari comms response into this database so let's do that in the next section thank you so much